At speeds of more than eight miles an hour, an impact with a hard surface can cause leg and ankle fractures. A skin temperature above 70 degrees centigrade will produce serious burns in less than a second. Large fragments of broken glass traveling at more than 35 miles an hour will penetrate and lacerate the skin. Acute exposure to radiation will produce bleeding, loss of hair, and loss of white blood cells. All these effects are produced by a nuclear weapon. Could we survive? Suppose, a mile above the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral in London, on a clear morning, a single one megaton weapon explodes. This film is about what happens to a city, any city, underneath such an explosion. Most of us live in cities. How effectively could we shelter from a nuclear weapon? Would we survive its three main effects? At the instant of detonation, the temperature of a nuclear fireball is 20 million degrees, as hot as the center of the sun. This is the first effect, a pulse of intense heat and light. Across large areas of central London, people and objects burst into flames, melt or char. If we freeze time at the exact instant of the explosion, these are the effects of the heat alone in different parts of the city. At St. Paul's itself, ground zero, directly under the fireball, the initial heat is intense enough to melt the great bronze cross. It vaporizes the liquid metal as it runs down the dome. It melts the stained glass windows and ignites objects inside the cathedral. Trafalgar Square, the National Gallery. Inside, at the same instant, paintings are burning. In St. James's Park, the same thermal rays are hot enough to ignite trees and scorch away the grass. In the shallower parts of the lake, the water boils to leave the lake bed dry and steaming. The temperature is around 4,000 degrees. In precise terms, the heat energy at this distance is 350 calories per square centimeter. That is enough to vaporize the road surface, melt parts of statues, and set fire to everything combustible. Around Battersea Power Station and Battersea Dogs Home in South London, the heat from the fireball will ignite the upholstery and rubber tires of cars and their petrol tanks. It will melt the sheet metal of buses. first seconds of a nuclear explosion, many vehicles will catch fire in streets exposed to the direct flash. In the same streets, window frames and doors will char or burn. This will happen from Chalk Farm to Camberwell. 